hello, happy Sunday. Um, just a quick one about applying to anything, right? Um, magazines, um, exhibitions, prizes, uh, art fairs, whatever. What we see quite a lot and what we actually don't want is variety. So if you are submitting more than art, one artwork, it's a really good idea to pick, um, and you're, maybe you're, uh, the submission allows you to pick, say, three or five or something like that. What's a really good idea is to pick um, the works out of the same collection of work. So, as I've said this um, many times before in different ways, but, you know, in the studio you're allowed to make whatever it is you want, right? Absolutely no problem. You go ahead and do that. But when it comes to actually putting that out in the public domain, and particularly for applications, you need to kind of basically curate what it is you're submitting. The works that you submit to whatever, as we said, you know, fair, competition, prize, an exhibition, anything like that, what you want it to do is you want the pieces that you're submitting to sit together really well and you want them to be representative of, you know, probably a larger body of work that you're actually making. The other thing is that it also needs to be reasonably representative of what you do. So if you are working in different media or you're working across um, multiple disciplines or things like that, then, you know, whatever it is you're submitting for the event, uh, you know, whatever you're submitting for itself, the, you know, the work needs to sit together and be representative of your wider work. So what I don't want to see is somebody who is submitting a still life and a portrait and an architectural landscape, for example, right? That is three different, very different subject matters, even if they've got that same artist has made it, you know, there's clearly going to be some sort of visual language across them. But quite often what we see is, you know, the still lifes will have a particular colour palette, they'll have a particular vibe that is then not, um, you know, necessarily seen over in the architectural landscape, for example. So what I'm asking for is for you to really think about what it is you're submitting any time you're putting into an, um, whatever it is you're applying for, like I said. I mean, this even goes to when you're applying for fairs as well, and it's something Ryan and I talked about. And um, we actually ended up talking about it after, you know, we recorded the podcast. So, um, yeah, this is what I really want you to think about. You know, how does the work that you're submitting, one, fit the uh, brief for the, you know, whatever it is you're applying for? And then how does that work sit together as well? Now, if your work doesn't, um, isn't sort of created as collections or bodies of work, you need to sort of look at, you know, what you've got in your inventory, you know, the artworks that you want to either put out in, um, you know, whether it's onto Instagram or apply for, you know, particular events and pull, pull out the, whatever they are, right, the themes, the ideas and so on that you were kind of considering at the time of making that work. You can look at how they sit together visually as well and how they explore particular ideas in that work too. Uh, if you are struggling with this, then this is where you get to ask for help. You know, you can, um, you know, basically call on your artist community, right? If you've got artist friends, then you can, you know, that would be a good place to start and ask them to come and sort of have a um, conversation with you, come and visit you at the studio and figure out like what sits together in what collections. Or, of course, if you've got mentors or, you know, other people that you're connected to that you would like their input on, then you can obviously reach out to them and see if they will help you figure that out. I don't offer um, portfolio reviews and that sort of um, advisory so much these days. So if that is something you need input on, then the best place to connect with me to help me help have me help you do that would be through the artist group coaching program that starts in uh, starts in January. So you can find the details in the link in bio about that. So this is really what we want to see is like consistency of a style, at least through the particular submission that you're making. When we see too much variety, it doesn't give, uh, it really doesn't represent the artist in the way that they actually want to be seen. What we're seeing is somebody that hasn't figured out what their, either their visual language is, what their work is about. They're not, um, you know, committed to that body of work and it just looks very disparate and broken and essentially not especially professional. Anyway, I hope that was helpful for whoever needs to hear it today.